What's up guys, this is Ian here, coach of your Ladner Lantern, bringing you guys our week 18 builder to take on my good friend Austin and his Atlanta Star Raptors. This is our something meeting overall, maybe fourth or fifth uh, battling ever. Uh, let's see, I guess, you know, people don't watch the team builders anyway, so I can find the time in here to think about this. So we played UPPA, no we didn't. Uh, we played D&D. Was that our first match? NCL Season 1, I beat him. d and I beat him in the playoffs. NCL Season 2, I beat him. Uh, he beat me in a tournament match. I don't know if we're counting that one or not. Um, and I beat him in EPTL. So I might be 4-0 against him. Let me just like take a quick little look through all the leagues that I got going on right now. To see if I'm 4-0 or not. I think that's about right. So 4-0 minus the tournament match. Uh, if you want to count the tournament match, you can go ahead and then I'm 4-1. But uh, I don't know if we've been counting it or not. He said real match. So um, anyways, we have a really good record against Austin. He typically seems to struggle to build against us is what I've found as the main factor. Um, and yeah, that's uh, that's sort of that thing there. Uh, I'm a little bit scared because I lost to Magic and Mortal in the same week and I was undefeated against them for 11 months, so um, it could be the upset time. I really hope that it isn't, because we're kind of on a tear in Waylord, and I'd love to sort of just like keep up this amazing record throughout the rest of the season. Uh, I think I'm a good builder, and I think I've got some answers to his team. I don't have a great idea of what I wanted to do against him, just because I thought that there were maybe like six or, sorry, seven or eight things I wanted to bring against him, and I wasn't sure what would fit what, because I'm really not, I, I'm having a hard time deciding which threats I need to prep for, uh, against him just because there's so many things that I feel like stand out to me. But let's run through his team then. He has uh, Araquanid, which is his Z user, em Embor, Drudagon, Granbull, Sandslash, uh, which is his Z user, Staravia, Raichu, Decidui, Clang Clang, all four of those are also Z users, Ambipom, and Mightyena. Uh, so, in terms of what I think he's going to bring, I'll talk about it in a sec, actually. Oh, excuse me, this is probably the lowest quality team builder I've had ever already. Um, in terms of priority, he's got a shitload of priority. He actually has so much priority on his team. It went off the page. I had to create more columns. Um, he's got Embor with Sucker Punch, Jordan with Sucker Punch, Saravia with Quick Attack, Raichu with Fake Out and Extreme Speed, uh, and Faint, I guess, if you want to include that, and Quick Attack, but again... Uh, you're really not going to be using Quick Attack over Extreme Speed. Um, Decidueye with Sucker Punch and Shadow Sneak. Ampapom with Fake Out. And Mightyena with Sucker Punch. Uh, then in terms of Hazards, he has Araquanid with Sticky Web. Dreadagon with Stealth Rock. And Sandslash with Stealth Rock. Hazard removal options, he has Sandslash with Rapid Spin. Staravia with Defog. And Decidueye with Defog. So fairly poor removal options if you ask me. And he has zero four times weaknesses on the team. Uh, which actually probably works out alright for him. He does have a lot of monotyping mons. Um, Drudagon, Granbull, Sandslash, Raichu, Clang Clang, Mightyena, Ambipom. So seven of his 11 mons only have a single typing, uh, which means they can't have a four times weakness. And then Decidueye, Embor, Araquanid, and Staravia, uh, none of them have four times weaknesses. So uh, that is the breakdown there. So in terms of what I think he's going to bring, I don't think Decidueye comes. And I don't think Kling Clang comes. That's about it. The rest of the team is sort of up in the air for me. Um, he's got the double Intimidate core with the Grand Bull and the Mighty Enna, which I think could maybe try and shut down Darmanitan. Um, I'm definitely predicting a rough skin Rocky Helmet Drudagon. Like, that is 100% what I think he's going to bring to check Darmanitan. As you can see on the screen, we're not bringing Darmanitan. I actually don't think Darmanitan has a great matchup against him. Things like Water Bubble, Water Bubble Araquanid kind of stop it. Uh, Banded Sucker Punch from Embor is just a huge pain in the ass. Intimidate from Grand Bull, the rough skin Rocky Helmet shenanigans with Drodagon is so annoying as well. Raichu outspeeds it, Ambipom outspeeds it and gets big Technician fake outs off. Um, Saravia is likely running Choice Scarf, which essentially forces me to run Scarf Darmantan as well, which I don't like. Uh, and the Mightyena is Intimidate is just kind of annoying, that's about it. Uh, so, that's what I'm thinking. 
Excuse me. In terms of Darmanitan, uh, his team looks remarkably Yon Mega weak, and we'll get to that when we get to Yon Mega. But we're just going to start off with Palisand here. I am bringing a physically defensive Palisand, just like we did last week against Little Penguin. Uh, this is there to check the Embor, primarily check the Embor, I should say. Uh, he does have a relatively physically offensive team, so this also can check the Staravia. He can't just spam double edge, uh, spam double edge against me. He's not ever going to click double edge against my team, to be completely honest with you. He's definitely going to click Bright Bird, because my Rock type is Rampardos, and my Electric type doesn't resist Bright Bird. So, Staravia does have a really good matchup. I know he said for sure he was going to bring it against me, so I'm prepping with the fact that Staravia is coming in mind, like 100% Staravia is coming. So that's what Palisand is built for, uh, is essentially to take on both of them. Stealth Rocks, because Stealth Rocks are really good against him. Not necessarily because he's got a lot of weak to them, but because uh, it's just really good chip for him switching around with all the Intimidate and Rocky Helmet Mons and things like that. Um, it, you'll notice that I have, I think, a couple Toxics thrown onto my team as well. Um, Earth Power is basically the only move I need, but he does have the Staravia, which hovers above the Earth Power, so I've got the Rock Slide for that, and Rock Slide's also there for the Araquanid. And then I've got Shore Up to get some recovery going on there. Again, physically defensive. I'm actually a minus speed nature because I have the attack investment for Rock Slide. Ooh, pardon me. Next up is Summer Job. We're bringing a Guav Berry Rotomo. A Guav Berry seems to be my favorite berry recently just because it's the first one alphabetically that comes to mind. Volt Switch, Leaf Storm, Defog, and Toxic. His switch into Volt Switch is the Sand Slash or the Raichu. Sand Slash is not switching into Rotomo. Um, I can tell you he's not going to switch Sand Slash into Rotomo, but Raichu's not going to want to eat the Leaf Storm either. Um, Volt Switch does seem reasonably free. And then I've got Toxic on here for a lot of his team. A lot of his team. Defog is for the webs. Webs are going to be extremely obnoxious. Um, not actually against my team, but not, not the one that I'm bringing, but I can sort of bait him with that as well. If I was bringing Darmanitan, webs would be really, really sucky. Um, but I'm not, so there you go. Ooh, excuse me. Ugh, every time. Uh, we're running... Not, oh, I mean a lot of speed, but we're running Modest with a lot of speed, which means we're running his base 70 mons, so we're going to outspeed Decidueye and Mydiana with this. Um, we could have outsped Staravia, but he's running a Scarf anyway, so what's the point? Um, there's really, yeah, there's no point in me trying to speed creep over the Staravia when he's running Choice Scarf, so I speak sped crept over the next best thing, which is his Decidueye, which could potentially be running max speed. I know how he likes to build, and he doesn't really optimize EVs unless I'm there, uh, so we'll sort of see. Um... Yeah, max special attack modest. I want to get a lot of big volt switches off this game. I missed out barely on uh, killing an Oracorio with a volt switch with no special attack investment last week. And I don't want to miss out on those sort of clutch KOs. Like, I'm fairly confident I can just Oko Sand Slash with Leaf Storm uh, with this investment. I'm going to do a hell of a lot of damage to the Araquanid with Volt Switch, and that's kind of the point, is to be able to get a lot of really good momentum off against this team. I do have to be careful with just clicking Volt Switch if Raichu is there. Um, Raichu is probably coming to revenge things like the Yon Mega. He can run like a Scarf Raichu even um, to revenge kill a speed boost Yon Mega after one speed boost. He'll still be able, he'll still speed me. Uh, Yon Mega does have better physical defense than special defense, um, which is interesting, but I, I do see that he could bring like three different Choice Scarfers against me, and so I'm wondering which one he might end up going with, or he might just bring all three. Uh, Embor, Staravia, and Raichu all look like really good Choice Scarf users against my team. If he ends up bringing a different variant of Raichu, then I'll be really pleased, because that would mean uh, I have a much easier time against it. So next up is going to be Yon Mega then. Uh, he does have a very weak Yon Mega team, and I didn't want to run a speed boost variant because I needed a little bit more damage output. So we're running Scarf Tinted Lens uh, with Air Slash, Bug Buzz, Defog, and U-Turn. Air Slash is really realistically the only move that I need, um, but Tinted Lens Bug Buzz is going to just be able to break through the Cling Clang a little bit better. Um, yeah, like Air Slash blows through Araquanid, blows through Embor. I mean, Tinted Lens means that it's going to blow through the Raichu. It blows through Decidueye. Um, everything else takes it neutrally except for Kling Clang, which it's also going to go blown through because of Tinted Lens. So I felt that this was the best set. I needed I needed the extra speed. I couldn't just rely on running Specs. Um, although I do outspeed a lot of stuff, I really would like to outspeed uh, things like the Raichu and the Ambipom. And I definitely want to be outspeeding the Scarf Staravia so that I can get a huge hit off on that later uh, i'm considering probably just leading with this 
Uh, I could scare out something like the Araquanid if it's leading, and I could U-turn. I could scare out the Embor. I mean, honestly, I could probably just click Air Slash turn one, uh, but I do have the U-turn there. So this is likely going to be my dedicated lead. If I had to guess, uh, that's what I would do. Um, again, we're not running a whole lot of speed, but I'm running enough speed on here for the Staravia. Uh, one point over the Staravia's max speed. With Modest means we're going to get a ton of damage off on stuff with Air Slashes. I'm sorry, I'm kicking a lot of stuff in my office right now. Uh, max special attack, tiny bit of bulk, and that's essentially on Mega. We're bringing a reasonably bulky, but also a mixed, um, sort of a especially offensive Porygon 2 this week. I'm actually bringing a lot of special threats, and I just realized that, but uh, he doesn't have the greatest special walls. He has better physical walls than special walls, um, and I left all of my... I left all of my physical things behind because of uh, Roughskin, Rocky, Helmet, Dredagon, and because of his double Intimidate users. Thunder Wave, Discharge, Recover, and Ice Beam. Bolt Beam does so much to his team. It does so much to his team. It's ridiculous. Uh, Thunder Wave and Discharge is just me being extremely cruel. Um, honestly, like there's no reason for me to bring Thunder Wave and a Discharge besides me wanting to paralyze actually everything. Uh, the only things that can't be paralyzed are the Sand Slash and the Raichu, and Ice Beam hits both of those. So that's kind of what's up in the air. If he brings Heal Bell Gramble because he knows how I like to play, then that is just extremely good prep on his part. I don't know if he would bring Granbull at all, let alone Heelball Granbull. Like, Granbull is definitely on my list of things that he maybe probably won't bring. Same with my Diana. Uh, but there you go. So, I'm running Modest, Max Special Attack with a lot of HP, Recover, uh, Thunder Wave, Bolt Beam. So, it's pretty uh, pretty offensive Porygon 2. I can definitely still eat some hits just because I'm in Porygon 2. I'm, like, really fat. Uh, but something like Embor clicking Superpower is I, I mean i'm not really living that hit anyways so i didn't feel like there was a point in sponging it and i'm still gonna sponge hits from things like the raichu and the decidui and things like that anyways obviously the decidui can't trap me with spirit shackle and i'm actually running a lot of stuff that he can't trap um so like three of his mon three of my mons he can't trap with the decidui like rotom can just volt switch out on it yon mega can just you turn out on it and honestly he wouldn't really want to trap the yon mega in anyways because uh, i just blow through it with air slash but that's P2. Uh, we're bringing a nifty little Devotion set. I don't think he's going to bring my Diana. Like, I'm kind of on the fence about it, but I really don't think he's going to bring it. So I'm not bringing anything to actually hit the Mighty Diana. Um, I, I didn't want to risk Focus Blast, and that's, like, basically the only thing I can run. Does this thing even get Focus Blast? Nah, it doesn't even get Focus Blast. So I can't hit Dark Types with the Oh, I, I could run Signal Beam, I guess. Eh, I could still run the Signal Beam if I wanted. He doesn't get a lot of knockoff users. Like, I'm pretty sure Sand Slash and Ambipom are, like, his knockoff users. I don't think anything else gets it on his team. I know Embor doesn't. I know Araquanid doesn't. Uh, Decidueye might. Clink Clank doesn't. Duradigon doesn't. Staravia obviously doesn't. I'm pretty sure my Diana doesn't. Um, so I might be able to get away with actually running Signal Beam on the Devotion and just setting up on the my Diana if I felt like it over Trick Room. So I'll explain the Trick Room tech then before I make this decision. Trick Room, the Devotion underspeeds everything on his team. Um, and so that's why I want to run Trick Room is because I can guarantee outspeed literally everything unless they're holding an Iron Ball under Trick Room. Um, is kind of the idea there. So like boost up a bunch, make sure I'm a, a good good amount of HP, Trick Room, and then just start speeding through his team and psychicking uh, things to death. But Signal Beam means that I can actually hit the Mighty Anna. You know what? I don't really care about hitting the Mighty Anna. I've got a lot of other stuff that can deal with it. Things like Bug Buzz from Yon Mega uh, and Slurpuff also deals with it really well as well. So I don't really care about that. Um, so just a standard Combine Psychic Recover. Trick Room is there for me to outspeed stuff, uh, basically. Physically defensive. I mean, Devotion is like super MVP of this team. Uh, maybe, actually, it might be a tie between Devotion and Darmanitan. But Devotion's 9-0 at this point in the season. And I'm just trying to rack up more kills for it, to be honest with you. Um, I think it's got an okay matchup overall. Uh, like, it can sort of set up on things like Embor relatively well. Like, he, he'll eventually just kill himself, and I can kind of just keep recovering on it. Uh, it can set up on the Dredagon. It can set up on the Gramble. It can set up on the Sand Slash. Uh, although he might have knockoff on the Sand Slash, I would definitely expect him to have knockoff on the Sand Slash for my Triple of Violet users if he brings it. I can reasonably set up on the Staravia. I don't know about that. And I can definitely set up on, like, the Raichu. Um... So there's a few things that I can start setting up on, and depending on his sets, I can set up on other things. So uh, that's Devotion. And then last but not least, we're bringing a 
uh, unburdened Slurpuff. Slurpuff has been very poor for me this season, but I'm hoping to sort of change that a little bit. Uh, this game, bring a belly drum set with player off drain punch and sticky webs. Player off and drain punch are the only coverage moves that I need for his team. Drain punch being able to hit uh, the cling clang, which is what resists player off. Uh, everything else gets blown back by a plus six player off. Um, he can cycle in his intimidate users. That's definitely fair. Uh, and he's got a lot of priority, like I said, so I'm a little bit worried about that, but I'm going to run Sticky Web as the last move over Return, because if I miss a player off, then I probably lose the game anyways. Uh, max Attack, and we're running enough speed on this to outrun Scarf Raichu after Unburden. Uh, that's the fastest thing we can outspeed, and so I'm going to outspeed it. I can't outspeed Scarf Ambipom after Unburden, so if he wants to run Scarf Ambipom with enough speed to outrun uh, Slurpuff after Unburden, then he can go for that. Uh, I'm a lot less scared of a Scarf Ambipom, to be honest, than I am like a Life Orb Technician variant or like a Silk Scarf variant, so that is what is going on there with the Slurpuff. So that's going to be the team, and uh, yeah, I'll catch you guys for the match.